Hi, this is Dr. Alan Weiger from MassageChairRelief.com and today we are doing our massage chair industry update for the week of 12-4-2012. And we have some uh, fun stuff to talk about today. Uh, first of all, I just want to again go over stock and we're getting close to Christmas. We just finished the Black Friday, Cyber Monday week and uh, this is a good time to get a stock update because a lot of chairs are sold during that, uh, during that uh, weekend and the week thereafter. So here's the stock update as far as we have it. Uh, the uh, the brown, black, and ivory OS 7075Rs, which have become an extremely popular chair uh, by Osaki, are all back ordered. I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about that back order in just a moment. Uh, the um, the Inata's, Inata chairs are all in stock. There is some inventory pressure on the red and the uh, black leather Inata Sonios, but other than that, all the other chairs are, are in, in good stock. Uh, human touch chairs are in stock except for the HT9500 Espresso, which is back ordered until early December. And this is early December, so they may be here this week. And uh, the Zero G 4.0, which is their most popular selling immersion chair, uh, is back ordered for the black and the espresso until the late part of December. So you will not be able to get those for Christmas. The bone color is in stock on the, the 4.0, but not the black and the espresso. Uh, the Infinite Therapeutics chairs are in good stock, Panasonic's in stock, Omega's in stock, pretty much everything else is in stock. Now, this leads me to the other issue I wanted to talk about with regards to stock as it relates to the Osaki chairs. There is a port strike in, Los, in the Los Angeles port, and that is where the vast majority of chairs come to from overseas. And that includes Inada, that includes Panasonic, that includes Omega, Osaki, Infinite Therapeutics, pretty much everybody. And it's important to understand that with that port strike, chairs are not coming in. So fortunately, Inada and Infant Therapeutics have good stock, so we're not worried about that while they settle the strike. But for Osaki, that's a problem. The 7075 is a very popular chair. And the black and the ivory were back ordered until, were supposed to be only back ordered until this week. Well, that's been pushed back based on whenever the strike gets worked out. And then once the strike's worked out, we don't know how long it's going to take to get that long, a, a chain of, of ships to come into the harbor to be unloaded and, uh, and, and its contents sent on its merry way throughout the United States. Because apparently there are ships anchored out to sea quite a ways out of the LA harbor and uh, those all have to be processed once the strike ends. And let's hope the strike ends now. I, I tell you they couldn't have picked a better time to strike for them. Couldn't it be a worse time for us and for those of us who are purchasing products for Christmas because all of the international, uh, internationally made uh, products are coming in through the LA Harbor and nothing is going to be getting out to the retailer. Uh, so if, uh, if you're waiting for an Osaki OS 7075, you might be waiting a while. Uh, the taupe of the 7075 is in stock, but those other, the other colors are out of stock and will be until the port strike is resolved. So that's an important thing to know. Uh, Infinite Therapeutics has introduced their new IT8100. I still don't have all the details on it, but I do know that it, it is, it, it's, it's in the same uh, kind of genre of the IT8200, 8500. There are foot rollers, there's arm airbags. Uh, there, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's more of a, a trim down chair from the 8200 and the 8500. The price point is, I believe, $28.95 with a $200 uh, instant savings, brings it down to $26.95. So for that mid-2000 price point, it's, it's, it's a decent chair. And it's a nice looking chair too. It doesn't have the exact body styling as the 8500 or the 8200, which are very, very similar. But it does have a nice body styling and I think you would like it. I just don't know anything about the chair. Never sat in it, haven't seen one. Even the information that we have on it is fairly limited. We had a client order one and when we went to order it through Infinite Therapeutics, they hadn't even come in yet. So I don't know if they're in uh, I don't know if this stock, uh, if this port strike is going to affect the arrival of the 8100s, but it is a Chinese-made chair, and they are supposed to be in. So uh, that's about all I know right now. You can look on our website with the information that we have from Infinite Therapeutics. It is uh, limited to some degree, but there is uh, there is uh, more information to come, and I'll get it posted once we learn more about it. Uh, last week, I had a wonderful experience. I, I flew out to California. Uh, we're in Utah here. This is where our office is and our showroom is. I flew out to California to visit uh, Human Touch, and uh, I, I also visited, and I went to the main Human Touch office or, or, or complex in Long Beach, California on, on Walnut Avenue, and, and I had a wonderful visit there. 
and uh, I, I was introduced to uh, to David Potter, who's their VP of design, and this is the fellow that basically introduced the whole concept of zero gravity to furnishings, uh, to uh, to uh, chair to chairs in the home or chairs in the office, and he brought his expertise from another area uh, where uh, the zero gravity concept was utilized and another field, another niche, and he brought it to the uh, massage chair industry. And it began with the perfect chair, which was not a massage chair, but it was one of their, their flagship chairs of Human Touch. And then it was eventually integrated into massage chairs with the HT7450. So I had a wonderful visit with him, and we discussed the new immersion chairs, which they came out with earlier this year, and apparently are now starting to take off. The Zero G 4.0 is an extremely popular chair. And they, as, as as is evidenced by their uh, their back order status on the on the, on the black and the espresso, but I had a wonderful visit with him and learning the whole idea of what they're trying to do with the immersion chairs and change the way of thinking in the massage chair industry and changing the verbiage, uh, the the titles, the the whole way of thinking about them. And it's it's pretty cool. I I really enjoyed being there at Human Touch and sitting on all the chairs that they have designed and uh, and having that great experience. My tour guide was Michael Ham, who's the director of uh, commercial accounts and commercial channels. He was absolutely delightful and treated me like a, like a, like royalty. I, I felt that I was a little embarrassed by how kind they were to me and how 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 they made me feel. They made me feel so special for being there, and I really appreciate that. And uh, and then I also met uh, Hans Daly, who is the uh, the senior vice president of research and development and, and and engineering for the chairs. And he's the guy where David is the guy that comes up with the design. Uh, uh, Hans is the guy that takes the design and and blends it with the the inner workings of the chair, like the rollers and the the mechanics and the uh, and the and the air bladder or the the, the 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 ottoman bladders and whatnot. It was just really cool to meet with him too. And they have a little uh, training lab up there as part of their research and development thing, where they have taken all their primary chairs and stripped them down of their upholstery, so you can see the actual inner workings of the chair while it's on. And I found that fascinating. I'd always wondered about what uh, human touch meant by paddles in the foot and calf massage. They're HT9500, and before that, their HT1650, which are kind of from the same family of chairs, had this foot and calf ottoman that retracted underneath the, underneath the chair and then came out, and you could put your feet in it. It had the most awesome massage, and people loved that massage, and I loved it. The first time I sat on the HT1650, you know, five years ago, I, I fell in love with that foot massager. Well, I finally saw what paddles are. And they have no airbags. It's just these rubber, uh, kind of a firm rubber uh, molded uh, contraption that kind of way, kind of uh, goes in and out and milks your legs rather than using airbags. And I was expecting airbags or some mod uh, uh, some modification of an airbag technology that has nothing to do with airbags. As a matter of fact, airbags are used very minimally on the human on all the human touch chairs except maybe the the new PC086 Serenity chair which has a little air bladder wave like motion but it's not a true massage chair but on the true massage chairs <clears throat> there is really very little uh, airbag massage except for uh, airbags that poke up to the butt from the seat on the 9500 and the 7450 anyways had a wonderful visit with him and went through the lab and saw how they do all their work in home the only thing that they do is they outsourced the manufacturing to China and uh, Thailand for their perfect chair, but uh, for the massage chairs to China. And but everything else, the the design, the engineering, uh, the testing, everything is done in house there in Long Beach. And uh, I was really quite impressed with it. I had a wonderful visit with them. Saw how the inner workings of the chair works, how the inner workings of the of the company's logistics work. I saw the warehouse. It was enormous. It was like I just. It was just as far as you could see in this in, in this massive warehouse were boxes of chairs stacked yay high and yay deep. It was fantastic. Thoroughly enjoyed it. They had a, I was there for probably about seven hours. I don't know. Sorry, not seven hours, but, uh, but about six hours. Had a, just a fantastic time, and I'm very thankful to the people of Human Touch for taking such good care of me and making me feel welcome and showing me the inner workings of, of how the company worked. Now, having said all that, I've taken video footage of my visit and I and I made a video. I just kind of completed editing. It's not much of an edit job. It just has some labels and some titles and whatnot. But I put it together and made a video. I'm going to post it on YouTube uh, tomorrow and then I'll uh, put up a blog post there with a couple of other pictures. But you can then, you know, kind of go with me as I go through Human Touch and see the different uh, places that I visited there and get a feeling for what's going on. It, it's, it was fantastic. So I'd like to thank Human Touch for their goodness. Uh, the next morning, 
I went to visit uh, Inada's warehouse. Inada USA is based out of Colorado, but their warehousing is done in Southern California and Ontario. And I went there to videotape how uh, the, the how the warehouse manages their uh, their stock, and it was pretty cool too to be there and see as far as this like wall to wall Inada Sonios and Yumis and One As. It was very very impressive, and I, and, and I really enjoyed that experience. So I videotaped that. I haven't made I haven't prepared that for YouTube yet, but I'll do that in the next few days and have a blog post discussing that experience as part of my California trip. Uh, but the, the people were wonderful to me, and I, and I had a great time. I, I, unfortunately, I was not able to meet with Omega. Uh, I guess the president of Omega was in China the week that I was there, and, uh, and I did not have the time to run up to see my Panasonic distributor uh, up in Canoga Park, which is a ways away, but uh, I did get a chance to meet with Dominic, who's my uh, Southern California delivery guy. I was hooked up with him through Omega a number of years ago, and he's been a very, very faithful uh, uh, a contractor for me. He delivers all my Southern California chairs and does a m wonderful job and he's always been very reliable and, and just fantastic to deal with. And I finally got a chance to sit down and visit with him and have breakfast and, and get to meet him. We went to Denny's and I had the Lumberjack special and it was, it was an amazing amount of food and I could barely stand straight when I left to go to Human Touch after that breakfast. But anyways, uh, that, was, that was my experience in Southern California uh, doing the massage chair business. And uh, go on my blog and on YouTube and you'll see the videos as I post them over the next day or two. Uh, I think that's about it for massage chairs. We're getting really close to the Christmas deadline. I would strongly recommend that December 17th be your... Don't order much later than December 17th. Now, if you order any not a chair and you live in Southern California, we can probably get that charity in two or three days, so it's not a big deal. But if you live in New York and you're ordering a chair from Infinite Therapeutics, which ships out of Seattle, or Osaki that ships out of uh, Texas, or uh, an Inada, or, a, or, or Human Touch, or Omega, or a Panasonic chair out of Southern California, you may not get it in time uh, for Christmas. And the 24th is the last delivery day, and I don't know what the local shipping companies do as far as delivery goes on that day. But if you want, if you want to be safe and make sure you get your, your bloody chair, by the, time, uh, by the time Christmas arrives, order soon, order now. And there's still good stock except for these Osakis, which are backward and lined up out in the ocean there in the Pacific Ocean. But uh, please feel free to call me if you have any questions. You can always reach me uh, at my toll-free number, 888-259-5380. You can also call me directly on my cell phone, and I answer it pretty much 24-7 at 801-651-2026. And uh, if you have any questions about the chairs, about delivery times, about not sure what model to get, call me. I, I'm more than happy to, 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 to shoot the bull with you and talk about them. I just posted an article yesterday, part one, and today, part two, uh, comparing the, the Osaki OS7075R and the Infinite Therapeutics IT8500, which are two very, very popular chairs. After the Inata Sonia, which is our top-selling chair by far, the next two models that are the most popular are those two. And I get asked all the time, which of those two chairs would I recommend? Well, I wrote a, a about a 1,400-word uh, review, two parts, broken up into two parts for you. One part talks about similarities. The next part talks about differences. And, that will, and then also some of my own personal observations by having both of them in my showroom. And that should be able to give you a pretty good idea about those chairs and which one might feel like it fits better for you. But feel free to call me. Uh, if you'd like to receive further uh, updates on these massage chair relief industry update uh, videos, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Uh, if you like what I'm sharing with you here or in any of our tutorials, please like us on, 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 on Facebook, our Facebook page, or share us on Twitter and Facebook, and please like our video on YouTube, and we would really appreciate if you did that too. Thank you very, very much again for your time today, and we will talk to you in a couple weeks just before Christmas. But have a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you then. Thanks for visiting today. We'll see you. Bye-bye.